Good morning. So I thought I would just go through for parents and students to show you everything that and how to access everything throughout the week. So just everybody knows how to do it. So I pulled up some of the screens that the kids have. So let me just share that with you. There we go. All right. So every week I'm going to send out something that looks like this that you probably have seen. So if I ever say school-wide lesson one, two, or three, or four, or five, or whatever, those are in this link right here. It says all school-wide videos. And if you click on that, it'll take you to the videos. So you just need to know which one you're supposed to watch. Um, and then for math, whatever topic we're on, um, Mrs. Thurman and I have been working together to make videos for that. But the, they can always go into Pearson, which is the math program, and look at videos from there too. And then if they want help that day on that lesson, you can click this right here and it will take them to Zoom, which might, you might have to add onto your computer, um, and put in this ID and this password. Um, so if they need help for math that day, if they need help for anything else, they can email me and we can always set up a separate session. So it's hard to do five different things. And then the answer keys to check their math is right here, which you can use or they can use. And then this is really important because this is what I'm checking off each week to see if by the end of Friday or Saturday, I mean, I'm just trying to check off to make sure they're staying on what they're doing. These are the things that should be done. So quick checks are all in Pearson. That's why it says Pearson. Um, Schoolwide document four is in Google Classroom, but they started that on Friday, actually. Take an AR quiz on Korean Cinderella. Um, Venn diagram, that is in Google Classroom. So I'm trying to put where everything, they can find everything. This week they're starting these Google Slides on Snap, and I'll show you that in a minute. Snap is something they're very familiar with, even if they try to tell you they're not. And then, and they're gonna be using their social studies workbooks, and there's a little two question kind of response that they have to do, and that's actually linked on to Friday, I believe. So if they go through, should always tell them what we're doing for math, what we're doing for reading, what we're doing for writing, and where they're able to find those things. And if not, definitely have them email me where you can find those things. Um, so each Thursday, they're supposed to meet with me or Mrs. Miller, and it says to go read their story. So their story's in Common Lit, and most things that they're using are in that clever link that they use. This is mine, so I have more options but they have a link to Google Classroom. They have, this is Common Lit, and they should have their reading assignment. It should already be in there for them. Here's Google Docs. These are like options that they can always do if they want to. These are just kind of game-based learning. Um, there is a link to Pearson, but they have to put in their username and password, which they should know. Here's a link to Accelerated Reader. Um, sometimes this works. Some kids are, I have this other link that I have to share with them for some reason. Here's Common Lit again, and then these are all just, this is science, um, which we're not using yet because we're doing it in SNAP, but these are just their other options. So this is what they use a lot in class. Um, the other thing we use a lot in class that they should know how to do whenever there's a Pearson quick check, they should know that they sign in with their username and password, which is their email, and then it's the capital P and their birthday two times. And we use that every day in class, so they should know how to do that. So any quick checks will be there. So the other thing that I wanted to show you about that. So this week, usually they have a booklet that's for SNAP, and SNAP is a reading and writing program that we usually use in class, but we didn't have access to the booklets, so I made it into Google Slides and took pictures of it. Um, on some of the slides, there's this little box, and I read it for kids that can't quite read it by themselves yet. Um, and they probably don't know how to do this, or they may, I don't know. But where it says type any words that were new, so wherever it says type here, they're gonna have to click on that. And it's a, it's a text box, so if they accidentally delete it, you can just insert a new text box and then type your answer. Um, so a text box is probably new to them that they're gonna have to type into this document and then don't share this document because we're gonna be working on it for a while. And then there's usually a follow-up page. Um, type your summary. We've done two SNAP full booklets and every time we would do the same thing. They would have to summarize each paragraph in just like a sentence. And I did the first example for them and they should do the second one. It's just what is that paragraph about in very simple, just a simple sentence, not a whole essay. 
And we had done that a lot. So, and then, so there's again, there's my voice reading it. Um, I did put paragraph four here because they're gonna need to use that. So here's the question they're gonna be answering this week. And then race is a strategy that we tried to get them to really, really answer the question well. So they need to use evidence from this paragraph. So again, not there to do it with them, but they should, we have done that before several times. And then some of the videos have videos that are linked that they could watch on erosion or volcanoes or landslides. Um, so that's where that goes. And then I've been putting their grades back into Google Classroom. So let me just put Google Classroom up here real quick. Um, so Google Classroom, they log in. So the stream is more of information if I want to give them an update of something. Classwork is where they kind of find all the things they're going to need for the week. And I was doing it week, like day by day, but I'm kind of just doing it weekly now. Um, so this is where they're going to find that Venn diagram to do. This is where they're going to find those snap Google Slides. And for their reading lesson this week, they're going to be using this document right here. So they'll just click on it. This one they will be turning in. And then it should have grades over here if they get things returned, I think. My screen's a little bit different. Um, so, there we go.